Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Enter the manosphere. Of course. How can I assist you today? Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. Well, because he went through each and every woman because he was rejected by each and every woman. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to reject me for something that I didn't have to explain myself and I'm not going to explain, okay? Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. For this episode, we're diving back into the Tamron Hall Show, where they brought in the founders of the Pop the Balloon Show, along with some guests who went viral in those shows. Now, if you ever watched Tamron Hall, you know this show is all about catering to women. And we all know by now, women are never held accountable on this show. Today's focus is on the single mother who went viral, the one with two baby daddies who clearly doesn't think accountability applies to her. Venusian, you're a mom of two. And your moment, uh, it really touched my heart because my mom was a single mom of two and married the dad that God meant for me to have. Your moment went viral uh, because the person asked you about not being married with two kids. Let's play it. Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Okay. Okay. I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got married. That's pregnant, definitely right. That's nor here or there, and that's You're not what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. The reason this clip went viral is because a woman was finally held accountable on a big platform where both men and women tune in to see what's going on. She was called out, and that's rare. This is exactly what used to happen on Kevin Samuel's channel, rest in peace. He would check these women in real time and their heads would explode because their entire worldview is based on having their cake and eating it too. How did it feel watching it again? Um, that really like touches my heart all over again because like you can't judge me for being in that circumstance because we all have... Stop clapping you fools! We all have soul contracts with our children, our partners, and I wasn't, I didn't come on that episode to be judged by a man that was looking for love again, you know, because he so came that caught on that me by episode. surprise. Yes. Oh my goodness. The audience is completely blinded by sympathy. They don't even consider the words coming out of her mouth. She says, you can't judge me for being in that circumstance. Wait a minute. If you don't want to be judged, why in the blue hell are you on a dating show? Especially on a show like that, where judgment is the whole premise. They literally hand the participants microphones so their personalities, behaviors, and attractiveness can be openly judged. That's the whole point. If you don't want that smoke, stay far away from that fire. But here's the deeper question. Is the judgment fair? In that setting, yes, it's part of the game. If your words or actions turn someone off, you're going to be judged for that. That's reality. If you're not ready for it, maybe you should rethink why you're putting yourself out there in the first place. Well, because he went through each and every woman because he was rejected by each and every woman. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to reject me for something that I didn't have to explain myself and I'm not going to explain, okay? Stop clapping, you fools. The foolishness. Dating is a two-way street. Since when do we think it's okay for women to just not explain themselves in dating? Especially on a dating show where you're literally asked to. Check this out. Okay, now what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers? Um, I really don't have deal breakers, right? Because I'm from the ghetto. So I understand that, you know, we do a lot of things in our past and in our youth that uh, is really a problem. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have any deal breakers. But as far as deal breakers, I don't really have any. Okay. She pops the balloon, 
because she didn't like what he said, right? Well, what happens next? Of course, she has to explain herself. Cool. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman, so having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. What do you mean, check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in, that's something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why. That's not what he said. You free-spirited woman, here's what he actually said. Transparency. Okay. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I would never know, mm. right? Uh, loyalty, that, that, that really, um, for men, that's a big thing, loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to know when you out partying and having a good time that you loyalty and you faithful mm. to a man like me. This free-spirited woman interpreted transparency and loyalty as controlling? Like this guy was saying he constantly needed updates on her whereabouts or that she had to check in through texting and calling him? That's not what he said. But that's how the free-spirited woman interpreted it. Guys, be careful with free-spirited women. Free spirit can easily translate into a Jezebel spirit. Most of them are for recreational use only. Why? Why? Because they only have to feel trapped, controlled, or feel like you're not doing enough in their eyes. And that's reason enough for them to not only bounce, but also leave emotional or financial damage behind. How she feels is always paramount, whether it's rational or not. Now do you understand why she doesn't want to explain herself when it comes to having two kids by two different men? This is probably the exact reason she's on the show in the first place, because men with standards aren't lining up to date her. To take it even further, there's no shame in getting rejected by these women. Let's be real, most of them look ratchet. Look at this one. Chest and titty tattoo. Look here, she got a left titty tattoo. This one probably has a titty tattoo too. Just covered it up with her dress, but the bunch of other tattoos on her body makes her titty tattoo suspicious. Look at the next one. Flower chest tattoo. Close to the titty though. And our free spirited woman. She's covered up for the show. But on the Tamron Hall show, there they are. Shoulder and chest tattoos. I wouldn't be surprised if she had a titty tattoo too. Brother, you dodge bullets like Neo. Do you think do you think the show reflects what dating is like in real life in 2024? In certain aspects, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. For, for the things that are going viral, yes. Yes. He wanted to he wanted a viral moment and he got it. Mm -hmm. Well, for the record, we did reach out to Brian to see his response because of the internet backlash as you can imagine. Here's what he said. I want to start off by apologizing if I did uh, touch on a sensitive topic and my delivery might have been a little bit strong, but I'm passionate about love and I just want to be able to find that. I want to be able to find my match and just be a good a good husband for whoever I try to marry or whatever the case may be. But uh, I got millions of views, thousands of reactions, thousands of DMs, you know, and for the most part, people really supported me. Uh, they really felt the same way about what I was talking about, uh, about uh, women uh, having multiple children by multiple different men. He's got our vote over here. Um, and it's just something that we need to really take into accountability on both ends, not just for women, but for men too. Uh, I think uh, accountability is the word. <laughs> Did he say accountability? We all know accountability is a woman's kryptonite. Um, and, you know, once we get to that point, we can really start changing our aspect of, of dating in this uh, dating pool. Um, and I believe that uh, we all find our match someday. Um, but it was a great experience. Um, the women were awesome. You know, I meant no disrespect at all. Um, I wasn't trying to uh, go viral. 
Oh, Brian. Well, Brian, this audience is not buying that answer. I'm sorry, but I appreciate you saying you're sorry. The Tamron Hall Show never holds women accountable. That's why Brian went viral, because it's so rare for women to actually get checked for their behavior. Shows like this used to have a monopoly on these topics. They dump on men, and women would drink that feel-good Kool-Aid, thinking their behavior should be accepted by everyone. But now, with social media, men are chiming in and speaking up. And guess what? That's why the audience doesn't like what Brian had to say. Pay attention to the free-spirited woman's next line. What are you looking for in the partner? Well, I'm already whole. Like, when you are healed and you come 100%, that's what I, I'm, I'm looking to be found because I've already done my healing. Amen. I've already gone through therapy. So for me, I'm looking for a wholesome king. Oh. That's Amen. it, that's all. And I know that he's out there and he will find me. I love you both. Well, listen. <laughs> this is pure gold. Disney princess syndrome strikes again. This single mother with two baby daddies thinks she doesn't have to explain herself and still deserves a king who will commit to her and her kids. And the audience claps. How much proof do you need? I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, That's definitely right. Under now, can I get a drizzle, 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 drizzle? Man, it's really working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted. highlighted.